And as for a reminder on the percentages you see on the screen, they're a percentage based on the approximate levels of total Soviet stockpiles. That is to say, the percentage destroyed. And that's something important to note, because Russia has not yet been forced to fight a war on a production-based footing. Instead, they're fighting on half a century of military hardware stockpile buildups. In fact, it's much more than half a century, given that we see T-62s and even T-55 tanks making themselves known on numerous occasions on the battlefield. But fighting a war based on 80-odd years of production material seems useful at first, but it's the most unsustainable practice you could ever see from a war. Thus, once the Soviet stockpiles are gone, then they have to build tanks, APVs, and artillery at the same attritional burn rates that they have for them now, which is impossible. So when Russia runs out of their old stocks, this leads to them firstly having to stop the meat waves, as it's just far too expensive from a production standpoint. Secondly, they have to be more careful in military engagements and mitigate risks for newly produced hardware, which means less offensives. In other words, upon running out, they have to change some of their very core doctrines of their military strategies, and yet they will not be able to turn on a dime. So, like I used to say quite some time ago now, is that Russia will continue to go hard until they have to go home.